In this video, we will continue with trigonometric graph sketching. You will find this on page 165 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Sketch the graph of the curve y equals 3 sin x. It's in radians and it's from negative pi to positive pi. Okay, stop there. Now, if you know just the normal sketch, now let me show you my thinking, how I will make this sketch. You can still work on, mm, I don't like the color, it's not strong enough. Um, you, you know that your sin graph will go there to 180, which is pi. So it will just go there <clears throat> to negative pi, because then it will go up. So you already know this shape. Now because there is a 3 in front, it means it will stretch not just to 1, but to 3. And that was my thinking. If you sketch that, because a sketch must still be a little bit accurate, can you see my little marks there? Still go and make a centimeter, a centi, or 2 centimeters to, to, to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So still make it on scale. Otherwise, you will struggle to see the real picture if you start drawing other lines in. Okay, so it is this sign. Usually it will go like this, but this is 180, which is pi, and then it will just continue to that side. Okay, that's not difficult. Now, where? That top, how will you find that top? I know, I know that this is pi, this will be a half pi, and that point will then actually be pi over 2 or a half pi and 3. And this point here will now be the middle of that, so negative pi over 2 and 3. Okay, so that's basically what will happen. Now, so this is my maximum point and this is my sketch the graph, just that. You can just fill it in if you want, it will maybe just help you later on. Now, the straight line y equals kx. Stop there. It's just y equals kx, where k is a constant, passes through the maximum point of the curve. Now, if they say y equals kx, this is what I'm saying. Usually a straight line is y equals mx plus c. But in this case, they left out that c, that meaning, meaning that c is 0. So the line goes through the points 0, 0, okay? But that's meaning the line goes through the origin, and I know the maximum point. That's my maximum point. There is my maximum point. Okay, now I can use that two points. I just need two points to find the gradient, because remember, in, if, if this is the equation, y equals kx, that k, the value in front of x, represent the gradient. Okay. So basically, how do I do that? How do I work out the gradient? It's the difference in y over the difference in x. Um, let's just, I, I always, but it's not so. So let's just make this x1, y1, x2, y2. So if I'm going to say, I will say 3 minus 0, this minus 0. And now, now, why did I come to this? I was actually ending up with 3 pi over 2. But this is a fraction of a, a fraction. I can make this a fraction, and I multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over pi. And that's where I got my 6 over pi. Okay, so that is the value of k. Okay, and then they say, so find the value of k in terms of x. Okay, and then... Oh, in terms of pi, I want to say, wow, in terms of x, that's not making sense. Okay, in terms of pi, yes, it's in terms of pi. And then state the coordinate of the other point apart from the origin where the line and the curve intersect. Now, if you have a sketch, if you have a nice sketch and it's on scale, and you physically go and you take a ruler and you draw that line, because it's symmetrical, and this line you will see it's exactly going through the uh, minimum point. So the straight one also intersects the curve at the minimum point, And that's negative pi over 2 and negative 3. Okay. Um, 
I'm just going to move up. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number three. Number one and two is not so challenging. So I thought, oh, let me choose the one that's a bit more challenging and I think that can be number three. Okay, again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Again, they say sketch the curve. But now it's not, it's from zero to two pi. So it's actually zero to 360. So it's going to be a full period. Now, again, and you can just work with centimeters, but I prefer, if I do it, to do it on a grid. It's just positive values. So um, if I'm going to make my, oh, sorry, definitely not without a ruler. And this is just two. I think this will work. Okay, now it's again, this is again sine, so but it's two sine. So again, it, where that one would have stretched to three, this one would just stretch to two. So if this is one and this is two, let me just get my pen correct. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, I wanted to make it a bit bigger, but it's fine. Okay, this is one, this is two. This is negative one. This is negative two. This is zero. Okay, now let's, if, if we're going to make the sketch, let's say uh, this. This we can make because this is it again, yes. So make this pi over two, then this will be pi. And this will be three over two pi, one and a half, and this will then be my two pi. Okay. So, and now if it's going to 2, then it means, and you can check on a calculator also, but you must know your basic sketches. And I think if you know your basic sketches and you work from there, then you'll see this is going to happen. Okay, and this is now my sketch. Why? equals two sine x. Okay. Okay, now I go on. So sketch the curve. By adding a suitable line to your sketch, determine the number of real roots of the equation. But I must first work with this. And I must first isolate this blue one. So let's start. Let's write it down. That was number A. So number B, this was two by sin x equals pi minus x. Now, don't forget that my blue one was y equals 2 sin x. So if I underline it, this is the 2 and the sin. I, I want that on a side. So get the, the rest away. Now, how do I get it away? I just... I can do anything as long as what I do on one side, I do on the other side. So let's go and get the pi away. So I divide, and I divide, and that cancel. So I'm left with 2 sin x. Okay, I'm, I'm going to break this one up. So it's pi over pi, put it over the d, and x over pi. Oh, I think. Come on, come on. x over pi. Okay, so this is going to be 1 minus 1 over pi x. Uh, so, and this is my 2 sin x. So, that is now my blue side. Can you see? So, there is my other line. So, I can go, I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I can say, therefore, and I'm going to put, this is a straight line. So, remember, this is M, X, and this is C. So if I put it in a straight line, I put first negative 1 over pi X. That's my gradient, negative uh, 1 over pi plus 1. Okay, that is my equation. And now, now, if I'm going to draw it on, the, on my sketch, now I must see, I must now draw this line. So I must see where this line Cuts the y-axis and cuts the x-axis. So let's start before I'm going to draw it. So I can already see where it cuts the y-axis. So if you make the value of x, so let, let me rather do the long way. Um, intersects. 
y-axis, you make x zero. And if you make x zero, you're going to see it's one. So therefore, it's going to be zero and one. That one is easy. Now if I say where it intersect, the x-axis, you make y zero. Okay, now let's first do that. This one is a bit more challenging. So I put zero equals negative one over pi. Oh, let me just get that grid first off. Not too difficult. No, okay, I'll put it on when it's necessary again. Okay. Um, negative one hours with x plus one. Let's take the negative one one over. So it's one over pi x is equal to one. So if I divide one over pi and I divide one over pi. And let's move it up. So x is equal, that cancel, so it's 1 over 1 multiply pi over 1. And that is going to be equal to pi. Okay. So the x, the x is going to cut the x-axis, so therefore the intersection will be pi and 0. Okay. Now if I go back to my sketch, I'm, I'm focusing. Now I'm going to plot these two points. Okay. So on the y-axis, I want to let's take the green. On the y-axis, it will be one and zero. Oh, uh, no, zero and one. And on this one, it will be pi and zero. And then I take my ruler. I put it there on my sketch because you have the sketch. You draw the line, and it's on scale. Now, the question was asking, determine the number of real roots. The real roots means how many times is this green line cutting the red graph? Okay, and how many times? It's cutting one, two, three times. So, I'm saying, therefore, Therefore, three real. Okay. And then the last one. State the equation of the straight line. Oh, that's easy. We already did that. That was number B, but now we will just write the answer in C. What was the equation of the straight line? It was actually the red one. Okay, make it red. So, Y, mm, I'm sorry. No, just a stupid thing. But I just want to... Get my level correct here. See? So y is equal to negative 1 over pi x. Or you can put the x there on top and say negative x over pi plus 1. And that is the equation of that straight line. And that's how you do it.